I just gave a lesson I need to do a follow-up for. Um, this is a boatsman or boatman. It's in the key of A. I have a capo at the second fret. Other than that, it's in essentially a G tuning, except the fifth string is turned, tuned up to A. And is this actually recording? Yes. Sorry, it's on the white and I couldn't see it. Um, I'll play it through. show you Lewis but that's all right we're gonna we're gonna break it down here so you're starting on the fifth fret and remember your fifth fret since your capoed up is not opposite your fifth string it's two up from that what would have been your seventh fret um, the other things to remember is you're gonna need uh, a couple of different chords for this if you were in the key of G and you played this like this if your capo wasn't on it would be a C chord as it is it's gonna be a D chord and that's so that's first string, second string, third string's open, and the fourth string's open. Now, for the second part of this tune, I don't care whether you put this finger down here or not, but I want you to do these two, this partial chord, D chord there, with these two fingers, your ring and your index, not this. Because if you do this, then it comes time to make a whole one and you're reaching all the way around. So just do them with the, the right fingers, even if you're not putting this one down, okay? And then the other thing that you're going to need is if you had this whole one on here and then you took off your uh, index finger, you have a minor chord. See, it would have been an E, it's an F sharp minor, but it would have been an E minor. Um, okay, and you'll need that, those chords for this. So here we go. Um, starting at the fifth fret. So that's the first bit. Two bum ditties here. Bum ditty, bum ditty. Seventh fret, fifth fret. So that's why I want you to do this with your index finger so that you can reach to here easily. So there's another bum ditty right there. So. that bum ditty, you're going to go to the next line. So your finger is here, and you're going to reach up to the fifth fret. You can reach with this finger, you can reach with this finger. It's quite a reach, it's good for you. So, from the second. But leave your finger there so that you don't have to take it, put it back on again. You could go if you want to, but is easier ultimately. So after you do that, you're going to go pull off diddy. So it's pull off diddy. Then the, the last bit, drop thumb. That's the first and second strings. And then you're going to slide on the third string from the second to the fourth fret. And that's the open third string. that whole thing again. Reach. I sort of misspoke when I said you do the whole thing again. You basically do that, that, what I just said again. That's, that's the A part.
That's the first part. There's three parts. Here's the second one. You can make your whole your whole chord if you're good at playing that C chord, or in this case now it's a D chord, so you capo it up. Or you can play a partial one. At its most basic, you're gonna go first string, second string, and then first first string, diddy, first string, second string, first string, diddy. And then drop them slide open. Or if you don't want to do it, go. There's some variations you can do. Uh, you could go, the first one you could just do that. Now let's do a pull off here. That was a pull off right here. And you could do two pull offs. You could go pull off, pull off, pull off, pull off, pull off. So here's all three of those. around with it, make it your own. Okay, so that, that line gets done twice, and then um, the third line. So, so this is not, it's a little sort of crooked, it's got some extra beats, an extra, and yeah, I have stuff to think about what it is there exactly, but... break that down. Third string open, slide up, diddy. Now notice if you play this string or the second string open, it's basically the same note. It's supposed to be the same note. Bum, diddy, slide up, bum, diddy, bum, diddy. So leave this down and take a stab, a stab at it. If you miss, you're, you're, you're going to hit one of those notes. That's just an open two bum ditties. Bum ditty, bum ditty. And then slide up. Now this is where you're going to have that minor chord, that F sharp minor. It's like an, if you were in G, it would be an E minor. It's an E minor shape. Bum ditty, bum ditty. So the first half of it, we'll go over that first half of that part again. It starts with the bum ditty on the third string. Bum ditty, slide up. Bum to hit all those strings so that you can actually hear that chord. Bum, diddy, bum, diddy. I'm just, I'm just sort of just hitting all of them. Uh, I'm hitting the fourth string. Bum, that's the melody note I'm after. And now, to continue on with that line. Bum, diddy, slide up. Bum, diddy, bum, diddy. That's your whole C chord. I'd li rather you play the whole thing there. So bum diddy slide up, bum diddy. Yeah, so open first string and then bum diddy, bum diddy. Drop them slide open diddy, bum diddy. So I'm gonna play that last part one time through, so you can just play along with it in the video.